Hey everybody, happy Chinji Tuesday. I know it is Monday and not Tuesday, but because my channel is all about Disney, there is a lot of Disney stuff throughout my channel, I feel as though I have sort of an obligation to kind of update you guys on some stuff that I know and kind of just check in on the community. I know that the Disney community is taking a very hard hit right now. As you heard in my last video, all of the Disney parks in the world currently are closed and also Disney Cruise Line. Um, and I don't know if this came out initially, but Disney Cruise Line is suspending all further sailings until April 12th, which is almost a month from now, so super long time. And I know you guys were probably interested in what the crew on the ships do for a whole month when there's no guests aboard and also what the island workers at Castaway Key do when there are no people coming to the island because that's really what they do. So I was going to talk about that in my video but there are some things I wanted to get out of the way first. I know if most of us, if you are um, fortunate enough to be in self-isolation, if you are not working a job in an industry that is not closed down yet, a lot of us have been in self-isolation for a few days, so I want to make sure that I'm pumping out as much content as I possibly can. If there are videos that you guys do want to see or questions that you have for me, I'm going to do a Q&A video, and I'm also going to be making pretty much every video you guys request. So please go ahead and put them down below. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And if you haven't clicked the little bell button, please click it. I put out a new video every Tuesday, and for the next couple weeks, it's going to definitely be sporadic. There's going to be more videos coming out. Definitely still a video every Tuesday, but more videos than just on Tuesday, which is gonna be great. I'm gonna be doing some, you know, updates and things that are going on, but also, you know, things to keep the mind away from it, like workouts, spring cleaning, things like that. So, yeah, I have some notes over here that I'm just gonna glance at. Somebody commented on one of my videos not that long ago. It's one of my older videos when I moved back home to Chicago. I said something in it and she quoted it, and I just thought it was like really, it really captures the time that we're going through right now. And the quote was, I said, we're Disney people, it's what we do. And that's like the truth, you know, we're Disney people, it's what we do, we're gonna get each other through it. I had so many people reach out to me saying, oh, we've been saving up for five years, or this was gonna be our first cruise, or just like so many things. And I know it's just so heartbreaking to hear, and obviously from my last video, you guys know that I was supposed to go to Tokyo Disney, so I am also going through the same thing, even though the trip is not canceled yet. Um, like I said in the last video, it is looking pretty bleak at this point. I know that everything I'm saying about everything so far is coming from the context of like a Disney person and like the Disney bubble, but my heart really does go out to everybody who's affected in any way, not just the Disney ways. These are just the ways that I'm talking about right now. Of course, I want everybody to be okay, so I'm glad that things are shutting down so that, you know, the safety of the public is kept somewhat intact. Before we move any further in the video, I do want to address Obviously, the big thing that happened this week after the parks had been closed was that the Disney College program participants did find out that their program was ending. So basically, the Disney College program, if you don't know, it's a program where you can go for a semester of school and work in Disney and you live in Disney-sponsored housing. Everybody on the Disney College program, including those in the International College program, meaning they came from other countries to work in Epcot World Showcase, are all essentially fired from the company. They have to be, they're they're done with their job. Disney is paying them through the end of the month, but they do have to move out of housing. I did talk to my friend who is in the Disney College program right now, and she is like, well, I'm fine because I'm just coming back to Chicago, but a lot of my friends, some are from Australia and some are from Mexico, and they literally have to buy a ticket to these countries in like days and get out. And I was doing a little more research and I found a thread on Twitter that I will link down below of somebody who is in the Disney College program in Mexico. Because Mexico's Food and Beverage is an operating participant in Disney, it's not actually run by Disney, it's run by a different company. And the other company basically has to handle those kids and the other company is saying, we're not gonna pay you. So not only are the kids from, I don't know for all of the World Showcase kids, but I know for Mexico, those kids are not getting paid and they have to be out of housing in like a day's notice which is really crazy i can only imagine super stressful on these kids but not only is it super stressful but i know like i tried to get into the college program multiple times before i actually got in so i know it's just probably heartbreaking for these kids who have i say kids they're young adults or adults who have been trying to get into the program or this has been their dream forever and they finally got in and then Literally, it's all taken away from them in minutes. And I know it's for 
the safety of everybody that they're not working but i know that it's also like totally heartbreaking and if you are a disney college program participant i am so sorry that this is happening to you i was talking to my friends about it and it, it, we were just saying like if this would have happened to us we would have been absolutely devastated during our programs there's not much more i can say besides that i'm really sorry and when everybody starts going back to disney you know whenever it opens back up again just be very kind to cast members considering the disney college program in disney world takes about when i did my program in 2016 it was 7,000 kids so they're going to be without 7,000 of their employees which is going to be you know hard for them to work with and disneyland's college program also shut down but that takes about five to seven hundred kids still absolutely heartbreaking and the icp's there from china like everybody just has to fly home within days and i think that is so so insane i did get word this morning that they did get another email and i don't want to butcher this so i'm just gonna straight up read it it might have been the first email but the email reads we know some of you have already expressed interest in returning and if you have not expressed your interest you can do it by completing this survey we will reach out to participants that express interest once we have additional information so i don't know if that means that they're going to be eligible for fall or if they're going to be able to come back once the parks open again um, but again that's like a big financial strain on a lot of kids just wanted to touch on that really quickly disney did announce this morning that they are shutting down all resorts including vero beach all the resorts in the parks as well and they are also closing all disney stores in north america so a lot of malls yesterday for illinois um, our governor announced that all of our restaurants and bars would be closed we could still do curbside pickup again lots of lots of things are shutting down this isn't you know like groundbreaking but i just want everybody to be like aware that this is going on and kind of on the same page about it if you guys didn't know or if you're you know away from the news but this is what i wanted to get into in the video so basically i'm getting a lot of questions about like what is crew doing for an entire month on the disney ships what are the crew members doing without guests for an entire month and then there are about 50 people that live on castaway key disney's private island they all have to stay on the island as well. So I talked to some friends on the fantasy and the magic, and then I also talked to some friends on the island, and I just wanted to give you the information that I have. So the week before I got onto the Disney Dream, there was what they called a ghost cruise, but they call it a ghost cruise because there was a hurricane coming, and basically they didn't let any guests on the ship. So the Disney Dream sailed a whole cruise with no guests, and it was the week before I embarked. So as I got on, everybody was telling me stories about kind of what goes on in the ship when there's no guests. And it's very similar to what's happening right now. For us in the Bippity Boppity Boutique, we had to work, again, I wasn't on the ship, I'm just saying we as a collective, we. We had to work like four to six hour days, basically just cleaning, but it was only one cruise. So it wasn't that bad. But for an entire month to be just doing nothing but cleaning, sounds kind of intense but the great thing about having these ghost cruises is that you get to do a lot of really fun stuff on the ship i talked to my friends on the fantasy who were already yesterday having a party on the pool deck and a lot of the crew members get to come up of course not all crew members get to not work at the same time because if people are in the pool there need to be lifeguards working but it'll like be staggered so people of course will be having their four hour work days where they're cleaning where they're doing things in their department but then a lot of the time they also get to do a lot of fun stuff around the ship and it's a great opportunity for people who are in galley or in like lower ranking positions to get to come up to the top of the ship because they don't get to do that otherwise which is really cool so people who don't usually get to see the pool deck don't get to go in the pool get to do these things and i think that's pretty awesome so my friends on the fantasy said that they're having a great time right now they were having a party up on the top deck they were getting to swim and do all of those fun things and the weather was really nice so that is awesome I also know that the crew on the magic is in port right now at castaway key which is awesome so they get to get off the ship if they want and they get to stay in the pelican beach area only they're not allowed to go to other places on the island but they're allowed to stay on the ship they're allowed to go on the beach which is so cool because you don't really have days you don't have days off on the ship so for them to have some time to get to enjoy castaway without any guests and to get to enjoy the ship and the amenities there maybe watch a movie go to the theater those things are very fun to be able to do, especially when you've been working as hard as they do. So they're docked there right now. I don't know how long they're going to be docked there. The ships are going to be switching out. So right now, as of this morning, the Dream dropped off their last guests. So the Dream is 
probably just sailing away now without guests for the first time. So I don't actually know what's going on in that ship right now, but if I could make an educated guess based on when I work on the ship, I'm sure they're gonna have them work a few hours of the day and then have them have leisure time for the rest of the time, which is pretty cool. And then for the Wonder, they are doing the Panama crossing right now and they have guests on board until March 20th. So until the 20th, things are totally resuming as normal. I do have a friend who just sailed on the Dream and I asked her what special precautions the cruise line is taking for guests that are already on the ship. So her first two days on the Dream were absolutely normal and then the second two days they were taking precautions because things started to unfold while she was already sailing. So this is what she said was different about this cruise. We had to wash our hands and use wipes before entering the restaurants, which is totally normal on the Disney cruise ships. We could not touch the characters and the attendants could not use our phones to take photos. We could not serve ourselves at cabanas. That includes the drinks. So they are taking extra precautions for the people that are already on the ship. And I'm sure that right now on the wonder, that's what the guests are doing. They are, you know, taking those extra precautions to make sure that everybody is nice and safe. And then when they get off on the 20th, the Wonder will sail away with no guests. So that's basically how the cruise ship runs. They're gonna have fun, they're gonna have a good time. I'll keep you updated if anything changes because again, a month is a very long time for them to only be working a few hours a day and to be doing their own thing. And it really is surprising to me that Cruise Line is shut down till April 12th, but if I hear any new information, I will update you guys. Now, the very interesting part, I think for me, is Castaway, because there are so few people on Castaway, and the way that they live is very different than the ship life, and it's a lot more freedom, and it just seems a lot more exciting. I love Castaway, so I think I just look at that and think like, wow, to live on an island in the Bahamas, how fun is that? So I've been talking to my friend who is currently on the island, and this is what they had to say. Basically right now they are working from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. and then they have some free time. And the things that they're doing is basically cleaning, sprucing up the island, they're picking weeds, they are raking sand, they are cleaning up all the seaweed on the beaches and just kind of making everything look, you know, in ship shape. So they can't go where the cruise ship crew is. So the cruise ship crew can get off and go to Pelican Beach and the people who are working on Castaway cannot. So they have to stay basically everywhere else on the island, but they don't want to intermix the two groups because just in case, I guess, of spreading any, um, any viruses. So they're keeping them separate from each other. The crew on the island did get the choice if they wanted to go on a ship and stay on the ship for a whole month. So basically they can't come back and forth. If they go on the ship, then they are on the ship for the month. They can get off and go to Pelican Bay like the rest of the crew, but they cannot go to the rest of the island. So basically they would have to pack up their stuff on the island and take it on the ship and then they can do basically like a rotation. So they would go live on the ship for a month. It's hard though, because if you have all of your friends on the island, you kind of have to decide like, okay, am I gonna stay? Am I gonna pack up my things? Am I gonna go? And you don't know if this is gonna be extended any longer. So I think that's kind of like where they're at right now. They're kind of unsure about what they're gonna do. I don't think my friend is gonna go on the ship because the ship has a lot more rules than the island does. And it's kind of just a different life. The island is a lot more laid back. You know, when they're done with their shifts, they can go tubing, they can do fun things, which is like really nice for them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, just try and hang in there, do the best you can. I did some workouts this morning and I felt so much better. I feel a little jumbled in my head, but I'm trying to just stay busy through doing my e-learning and doing my internship and YouTube, of course. So again, if you have any suggestions for things that you wanna see, please leave them down below because I will make pretty much everything this week. We got this, I'm here for you. Happy Teen G Tuesday on a Monday, everybody. <laughs> Bye.